Hi, I'm Holly Mosier and I'm the author of Stress Less, Way Less. Today I'm going to show you how to cook a low-fat, high-protein chicken breast. And for this we're going to use a recipe from my book called Holly's Curry Chicken. Five ingredients, really easy, and even if you don't like curry, you're going to like this recipe. Okay, we start with two chicken breasts. I get the ones that are the bone-in with the skin on. We're going to be removing some of the skin, but I, I use these kind because they're more moist and they have more flavor when we cook them. The only other things that you need are garlic salt, pepper, and some curry. And I always have my cooking spray available. So we're going to start by removing about two thirds of the skin from the chicken. I know this looks gross, but there's no better way to do it. And it's going to cut the fat in the recipe while still retaining the flavor. Okay, we're good there. So that's about two thirds of the fat removed, but enough is left on so it stays, well, the flavor stays. And now let's pull some of the skin from this one. I know this looks disgusting, <laughs> but it's gonna be worth it for the taste in the end. Okay, there we go. All right, so once we have that skin removed, now we're gonna season these. So we'll start with a little bit of garlic salt and then we're going to use fresh ground pepper. I like to use the fresh ground because it has antioxidants in it, but if you don't have fresh ground, just go ahead and use regular pepper. And then last, we're going to sprinkle curry powder on them. So there's our curry. I really like curry because it has anti-inflammatory qualities that really can't be beat. So now that these are seasoned on this side, we're going to put them in our cooking dish and flip them over. And we're going to start with the bone side up. And let's go ahead and now season this side. So once again, we're going to do our garlic salt, fresh ground pepper, if you have it, if not regular pepper. And then lastly, I'm going to sprinkle it with curry. I probably use about a total of a half teaspoon of curry on each of the chicken breasts. And that's all there is to it. Now that we have it seasoned, we're going to put it in the oven onto the broiler on high for about 15 or 20 minutes, flip it over, and we'll finish cooking it with the breast side up and it's going to look really good. All right, the chicken breasts have been cooking about 30 minutes on broil on high, but about halfway through, I pulled them out and I flipped them over so the breast side will finish up. And they are done. These are beautiful. These are just perfect. So they're brown on the top, and they're sizzling and they smell delicious. So that is how you cook a high protein, low fat chicken breast.